Bear's effort in one particular area of rubble led to a sad recovery. New York City Fire Chief Peter Gancy. He was sitting upon pieces of paper that were over the area with blood on it and then scenting down below that there was somebody down there. We found him in the area against uh, the American Express building underneath uh, a fence and some other things. How much credit do you give Bear in helping you find your chief? Firefighter John Oshier was the first to reach Gansey. He only knew he'd found his chief after looking through a wallet near the body. He's still amazed the canine of Bear's age could arrive on the scene so quickly with such determination. We to see this dog climb up and over some of these uh, pieces of steel and crushed concrete. Bear was phenomenal. Um, I wanted to keep the dog with me as long as I could, but uh, there are too many other firemen trying to uh, latch on. Tell me the, the circumstances of how you were brought to the scene. Who called you uh, and, and how did you get to the scene? We were dispatched uh, to the scene, uh, engine 35. Right out of here, or out of the one down there? Right. Okay, and you've been at the same place for six years, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, two of the years I rotated out. But. Okay. So you get down to the scene, and you just, uh, what, what did you say? You said you saw it. It was pretty amazing. Uh, we arrived, uh, we arrived what you uh, saw down there. a minute or two after the second class. I mean, I'm sorry, a minute or two before the second collapse. Okay. Um, I guess we were about eight blocks away. And you said something about the, the size of the debris field. What did it debris look like? Field, uh, it looked like it, uh, the moon. It was like being on the moon. It was a completely different world. And it was like, you said the it size was, was like 16? You couldn't see the other end. And it, was six, it was 16 acres large. I mean, we found that out after that. It was a tremendous debris field. So when did you meet Bear and Scott? How did that come about? Uh, that was later on in the day. Um, I'd have to guesstimate, I guess, around uh, one, between 1 and 3 uh, p.m. And uh, I stumbled across him and another firefighter friend of mine, T.J. Mundy, mm -hmm. uh, between those times. Yeah. Now, what did he, uh, how did you use his services? How did he help you? Uh, like I said, the debris field was so large mm -hmm. that... Uh, it was like trying to find a needle in a haystack uh, to try to make recoveries and uh, rescues. So, uh, really, that's all I want to get a sense of is, um, you know, what, what did this guy help you do with there? How did he help you find your feet? Talk about that, and, uh, and that's it. So, um, so you, you, you saw Scott, you saw Bear, and then uh, what, what did these guys do? What did they do to help you to find your feet? Gentleman Scott was uh, directing his dog around the debris field with us, uh, which was amazing in itself. For well, one, to see a dog there so quickly, uh, and two, to see this dog climb up and over some of these uh, pieces of steel and crushed concrete. Uh, but the, the dog was, uh, had his nose buried down in there and um, was working hard. The dog was out there working as hard as we were. What were the circumstances of finding the chief? How did that happen? kind of hits on an area, he, he circles it a little bit, he'll sit down, and uh, I mean, I, I don't know anything about searching with dogs, I was really relying on uh, Scott Shields to, to direct the dog, and um, Scott says he's, he's hit a spot, he's got a spot, something here. Uh, my friend TJ Mundy, Firefighter Mundy, had asked, uh, are you sure? He said, I'm positive, this is a spot, it's definitely a hot area. Uh, so we left uh, Wyman Mundy there. I moved on with uh, Scott and Bear. Uh, we moved about 100 yards away, and uh, Bear hit on another spot, which we were able to make recovery within uh, three, four minutes of that hit. Now, how much credit do you give Bear in helping you find your feet? All of it. Um, we would have found them, regardless, and like every one of the farm in there. Things and we'll be done here. Um, I mean, just for the—I mean, you don't work with these dogs all the time either. So just for the viewer who doesn't work with these kind of dogs at all, obviously, and doesn't know much about them, just give us a sense of how important they were to the overall scheme of things of what was going on down there.
there that day. How much did they help you guys uh, in, in trying to accomplish your goal of getting these guys uh, recovered? Well, in, in the aftermath, I think uh, the dogs played a, a pretty key role uh, in recoveries because of that sense of smell and their, and their abilities to uh, locate bodies. Um, because, like I said, the debris field was so large. Where, where do you start? You know, you just didn't know where to start. And they were the answer. They gave us that answer. They, the dogs pretty much looked at us and said, this is where you're going to start. And uh, that's what we went with. But uh, Bear was phenomenal. Um, I wanted to keep the dog with me as long as I could, but uh, there were too many other firemen trying to uh, latch on. And, uh, and Scott, too. There's a guy, uh, I'm not too sure how old Scott is. He's a few years older than me. And uh, he... Uh, Going strong, and a wow. uh, dog's pretty old too. He's like an 11 yeah. year old dog. Most of us stayed down there, we were there every day for weeks. Um, and I, I passed Scott many, many times to a two week period thereafter. You know, so. The only other thing I wanted to ask you then is just, uh, I, you know, you found was the dog helped find your chief, and uh, the dog was definitely involved with stuff that was going on down there. Did you see other civilian people like Scott with dogs, or the mostly official, you know, search and rescue kind of uh, dogs and animals you saw down there? Or yeah, that's something you didn't really I, pay you much know, attention to? In all honesty, uh, I didn't know if Scott was a civilian. I didn't know if Scott was a civil servant, a trained professional. Uh, and you didn't really care. I, I, I believe I saw he had his uh, marina patches on. He did some work with uh, different marinas, or, uh, I think some SAR units or something. But, uh, it didn't matter at that point, and that was the only dog that I saw that day, and so quickly. Um, and after the first uh, the first recovery, I was sold. I didn't know if the dog was fine in my book. We're going to get a shot of you and I talking. You did great.